So we seem to have a leaky faucet. We gotta change the seal out in our taps. So the tools that I needed to do my job to change the faucet, I had a little tiny flathead screwdriver so I could pick off uh, the hot and cold caps and to be able to remove these guys from the valves. There was a Phillips screw that I had to remove. There's a flathead screw that I needed to remove. I used my screwdriver here for the two different bits. I used a pair of pliers uh, to hold something, one of the valves in place. Uh, in case the pipe comes out of the wall, mine was a eight millimeter Allen key. So I slid that in and I used another small piece or whatever to uh, another small T handle to uh, push the pipe back into the wall while I spun it in with this one and locked it in place. Then I used this there to, as you'll, you see in the video, just to hold the valve so I can actually get the valve to open up all the way to close against itself. So when we locked every, all, everything in the pipe, the valve wasn't touching against, uh, wasn't sealing and ruining itself. And 19 mil deep socket on half inch drive ratchet. So we got to go and turn off our water just to make sure you always want to go back to your fuse, uh, your breaker panel. You want to make sure you turn off your hot water tank just because uh, if you end up taking that valve apart and the hot water drains out and there's some pressure behind it or whatever that uh, the water drains out of the hot water tank a little bit more than it should hot water tank is going to consistently try and heat that water up. You don't want the hot water tank to consistently heat it up so if you're going to have it apart for a couple days or even a couple hours turn off your hot water tank that way you don't burn out your tank. And shut it off. This is where our uh, pipes come into the house and exit the house. So we're going to pull this off. Now that there looks like our main pipe that comes into the house. But also we have a hidden panel here. There's our main. So this pipe here, the tap broke down at the bottom. So then further up they uh, put in a ball valve. And then they have a drain off here to drain the excess water out of the house. So you could take a hose, hook it on there, drain it down into... Uh, the dirt. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this off. Hopefully nothing breaks. Okay, so now we should have no water in the house. Should be shut off. That's our main shut off. So no no cold water. No oh dribbling of hot water. So there we're good. So now that we got everything shut off, we should be able to pull off take our uh, taps off. So we're going to open up our little tool kit and start taking things apart. Okay, so we drain, drained out the excess water that we had in our tub. We a good idea, put that plug back in. So when you take off your taps, uh, no screws or whatever falls down the drain. So everything's like kept in one spot. It's not going to fall down the drain. So leave your plug in. Be a uh, Smart to do so. These here should pop off. Should. Oh, there we go. Yep, pop off. As you can see, there things are starting to fall out already. There we go. There's two, so you get a Phillips screw in here and a Phillips screw in there. So we're going to relieve some of the pressure that's in this tap, which there is none at this time, because we shut the water. We're going to take out our Phillips screws out of here. We'll take off the taps. You just 
just give them some wiggles there and that'll pop out after you take the screw out. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. We have our 19 mil deep socket. Usually we're any tidy lefty loosey. There we go. So this here took the screw out of there. We're gonna remove this piece and we're gonna put in a new rubber. <clears throat> so that just pries up and out. We'll take our new one. There's a lip on each end. We got this little kit here of different washers. Overing well the rubber washers. We'll try and uh See which one's going to be which to fit in there properly. As of right now, this one here seems like to be a quarter. Kind of goes in the little ledge. Let's see if I can't just push that all in by hand. You want to make sure you get the right one. There. So that's all nice and in there. At the same time, you want some pipe thread. To go back around this because otherwise it'll probably be leaking around here so as you can see there's some pipe thread that's on it we'll get some more pipe thread and put that on and you're going to want to put the supply new screws in the little kit so we're going to put the new screws in go ahead and tighten that down just needs to be uh snugged in there now this is uh thread tape Plumber thread tape comes on a little reel. We're going to want to clean up this a little bit, so we'll take our screwdriver and scrape that off. Same thing with the other one. You want to make sure your valves are open when you tighten these down. valve is coming out of the wall I just retaped this piece we're gonna have to figure out how to get this back in there we have our 5 16 or 8 mil now both of these fit down into here a smaller T handle slide this all the way in use another T handle to hold it into place so we can start get it started Tight. We want to make sure our valve is open all the way. Or open here it looks closed, but you want it, this is open. This here would be closed where it's going to go and push against the back of the seal. So we want this all the way open for when we put it into the pipe. This being all the way open, it allows you to get more tread threads in the pipe we'll put this back in 19 mil put that down in so that's all the way in there now so we'll take our screws for here on so everything stays in place there now we can shut our valve off turn it back on just like that so that's off do the same thing to this one so that there now closes opens so now both valves work. So on, off. We'll take our cold and put it back on cold. And we'll take our hot, H, and put it back on hot. There. So 
uh, if there's more than one person in your household and they're around when you're doing this repair it's uh, probably best if one stays in the washroom to watch to make sure uh, there's no water leaks because you could have a water leak and uh, if so you'd like to shut the water back off as soon as possible so if you have someone there watching the water while you turn on the water valve uh, would probably be best so what we're going to do is turn on the cold water first I don't hear any screaming and yelling saying shut off the water do you? no so I think we should be good for that one that's our main water we'll go turn on our hot water now let's do test it out oh. That one shuts off. No drip. This one turns on. And shuts off. No drip. So if you guys haven't already, and you'd like to, please subscribe. We'll see you guys all next time.